Hey everyone, welcome to Two Minutes to Stay with Bala. This week we're going to look into Key Vault, uh, the features. How do we use it? Let's get started. So there are three main objects in Key Vault. Uh, one is keys, second one is secrets, and the third one is certificates. Let's look into the keys. Keys is something generally you can either generate or import. So you have multiple options here. You can give a name, and you can mention what type of key it is. Typically, this is used for your disk encryptions and uh, for your virtual machine or using like a key for your SQL server or something like that. And you can make this uh, exportable so you can export it and use it in other systems as well. And you can have an activation date and an expiry date. And you can say enabled or disabled. You can tag those keys. Once you click create, it's going to create one. We can give it a shot. And then I hit create. So you have your key created and this key can be used in other places. So this is one way you can create a key and use it. The next one is secret. So let's create a quick secret. So in this case, you can see I can give a local admin and uh, create a password for this. And I could typically say uh, content type as text. And you can have a activation date and then you can hit on create. Um, so once you click on that, uh, you will see this and then you can click on that. You can show or hide the secret value, or you can directly copy that value and use it in your application. Whenever a new version is being added, and then you can say, two, three, content type as text. And then you can set create. So it creates a new version. Click on that. You can see that's a new version. The secrets are typically used to store application secrets or username and passwords. So the third one is uh, certificates. So again, in certificate, you can generate one. For example, let's do Bala1. Let me give the CNAME equal to Bala.1. Validity 12 months. I can hit create. So you can see <clears throat> it's in progress. So now you can see the certificate is complete. So I can click on that. And this particular certificate could be used uh, used within my uh, web application. So the same way you can click on this and then you can do an import where you can give a certificate name and choose a PFX file, file and then give a password for it. And that way you could import your uh, custom certificates that you buy for your own domain. These are the main use cases that you use uh, Google for. Thank you for watching. See you next week with another topic. Thanks again.